So you're stuck at upper level 50s or about level 60 or so and you can't get any further. Uh, I was stuck as well but I did uh, find a build when I was messing around that works quite well uh, for single target and group uh, group enemies and it will help break through the werewolves and the swamp up north and everything like that and get you going again. Uh, so what you need is the double swords, the twin blades, uh, and I'll have to set it up here. So uh, you need that, uh, chaos dodge or the veil of chaos works and the skills you're going to want to use is actually aftershock. A lot of people don't like aftershock but it is what works here and then I use the chaos uh, shield as well. And ultimate doesn't matter just use your preference. My favorite is this heart strike one. Uh, but basically how it works uh, before I go demonstrate it. Um, well I'll just demonstrate it and you will see. So uh, say you're approaching a werewolf or some strong enemy just one on one. Uh, you go stealth and then you open with a single attack because that will do the stun uh, and you don't want to attack again because any kind of attack will break the stun uh, so you stealth attack once to stun and basically the build is about burst uh, so once it's stunned you want to line up aftershock and see how there's a bit of a delay uh, before the aftershock goes off as soon as you cast the aftershock um, the monster will still be stunned uh, which will give you a time to do the Q ability which is the elusive strike uh, you want to do them both at the same time so you will do stealth stun and then line up aftershock and then the Q ability so basically the Q attack and the aftershock go off at the same time which gives tons of burst uh, so that's basically what you're doing and it goes so fast and they just came out of stun they can't really react now depending on the enemy you either want to pop shield afterwards right away or wait a second uh, so working through the rotation here you do stealth stun aftershock Q and then immediately go up with a shield or wait a second depending on the enemy some attack right away some don't and then when the shield fades I use the chaos uh, one here because if they hit it, it fires the bolt back to them uh, but when the shield falls you want to use the chaos dodge here the veal of chaos uh, because it gives you two uh, two dodges and that'll give you enough time for all the skills to reset and then all you do is repeat uh, so you'll do stealth uh, stun aftershock Q and then shield up and then once it's down you will dodge around the werewolf or the enemy will go after the decoy and then that gives you enough time to repeat the whole thing everything will be back up again so that, and that shield and then dodge around okay then everything's back up again stealth stun well not yet I guess you need a second longer uh, so the time frame will be more like this as soon as everything comes back up again Stealth, stun, aftershock, Q, shield. And you need to delay a bit, and then you prolong this dodge a bit. There. And then you just kind of position again. Stealth, stun, aftershock, Q. And then you're back rolling again. So basically, with that, uh, with that rotation, you can take down pretty much um, the larger stuff. Uh, so we'll go show it off now. Alright, so we're up in the swamp because this area will really start getting people. Uh, so there's a level 66 witch, and I'm reading 56. Now I'm actually higher, but I pulled some gear off uh, to make me down to that level. Let's see how this actually goes against the witch and see if it works here. So we're going to come up behind. So stealth, stun. You're going to aftershock, Q, shield up. And then basically dodge a couple times until you get the cooldowns back up. So we're going to stealth again, stun, aftershock, Q, and then shield. And basically just repeat that. And you want to delay the two dodges so you get enough evasion until everything resets. So stun, aftershock, Q, 
shield up. And then warp around. Now the sun came out, so this could be interesting. Alright. And we're gonna stealth, stun, aftershock, Q, shield up. Alright, and then warp around a little bit. And stealth up again. Stun, aftershock, Q, shield. With a melee user, they'll usually get the shield. And then warp around. And probably one more time. Still. Oh, see, so we don't have to. We can just feed, uh, feed, execute there. And we're done. So that was a 56 versus a 66 witch. So I think we'll try and find one more enemy up here in the, what's it called? Cursed Forest. So that was a witch, but we'll try and find a melee one. Uh, usually it doesn't take too long. There'll be stealth along the road. And it should pose a good challenge, but, uh, See if we can stumble upon one. Where are you here? Usually I get jumped by now. And the daylight's gonna make it a little harder. Ah, it's just another witch. We don't need to see one of them again. I'll see if I can find something better. Okay, there's a lurker ahead. I just kind of seen him there. So let's go in and get him. I thought I seen him. Did he turn around? Oh, there he is, right there. See if I can pull him out, because I think... Yeah, Alright, let's pull him out there. So we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to stun, aftershock, Q, shield up. And we're going to dodge around. So he's level 66, and I'm sitting at 56. Uh, oh, I forgot. I missed the double dodge. Oh, that's not good. Alright, that's alright. You can afford one hit. Shield up. And you want to really prolong this double dodge to make sure... See, I didn't miss it again. See, I'm messing up there. Anyways, that should be enough time. We're going to stun, aftershock, Q, and shield. And then we're going to remember to double dodge around. He'll go after the decoys. And we'll do it one more time. So stun, aftershock, Q. And now you can just feed, assassinate there. Or execute. There we go. So that's a 56 versus 66. And then you can grab your pristine hide and schematics, whatever you like there, unsullied hearts, hearts if you need them. Uh, so yeah, so this works real well against uh, against those stronger individuals. If you're at, at this level, 60 or below, you can't really take on multiples. Um, if you do take on multiples, the only difference is you don't use the stun. Uh, because if you open it with the stun, the others will just attack you. So you pretty much do the same thing. Uh, you stun, but you just use or you use the stealth, but you just use it to line up the aftershock, and then you do the same thing uh, with a group. Uh, but it works really well with groups too, because that the aftershock and the Q attack uh, will hit everyone in the group. So maybe I'll just show that real quick too. So I just came out south of the uh, the cursed forest there or whatever. Uh, now these guys aren't really much of a level. There's 40s and 36s and stuff, but it'll, it'll do for demonstration anyways. Uh, so, we'll just kind of fly in here, because we don't need to worry about uh, stunning any of them. Uh, let's see if we can group them together or not. So we're going to stealth up. Oh, and we're on fire. Anyways, Aftershock and Q. Uh, pretty much they're all already dead. Just feed him, and then you get... That's the one little guy, and you can, I mean, if you have trouble with him, I, I could just hack him down, but you can just repeat what we're used to there. So there we go, and then he's already too hurt, so there, assassinate him down. Uh, it works really well for the groups as well, so uh, yeah, I just wanted to show that, so um, I don't think there's anything else to it. It doesn't work well against the V-bosses, though, just because the stun doesn't... Uh, the stun doesn't work on them, uh, but you can still use it. It's sort of the same thing. It's just you stealth the position and to buy you some time with the boss, um, and it will just let you position it, let you heal, let you you know gives you a little bit of a breather in the fight. The stealth does, uh, but with the bosses, I don't open up with the attack because uh, it's, it's all about the stun there. So you just use it to position uh, your aftershock in the queue. Uh, if you want to do it that way, but typically I don't use this build against uh, 
the V bosses. Uh, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps someone. I just uh, there's been a few posts about people getting stuck about that level 60 area uh, against those werewolves and trying to get the, the higher materials. Uh, this build works really well. It's got that burst damage um, and it also lights groups on fire so it leaves that burn uh, after them. And then you can use whatever ultimate you like. Uh, but anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully it helps and uh, take care.